So I kind of feel like that's not going to happen again. I think Navi have every right to take this to overpass again, and it feels like a good pick for them. So we'll see if Complexity can prove that they can really beat down Navi and do it twice. Yeah, shake it off. You know, you got battered. Stand up. Whop them. We'll see. Complexity to the T side already very quickly through the short water. They're going to hit this B site. They got nobody to their left. It's two players in Perfecto and Electronic down here on Monster. And, ooh, Electronic quite blind. Catches JT at the very least, but we're looking at a four-player post-plant comfortably for Complexity. Bitten head trick coming around from Graffiti already. But what can they see? What can they find? Nobody seems to be showing face at the moment for Complexity because they put that bomb down, and now they just need to hang on. Jump spot elicits a couple peaks. Now, they saw Floppy peak from default, and Grim just shot a bullet. That's three players' positions confirmed. Now you just got to kill them. That's the hard part. They decide to swarm towards head trick. Nice oh. out. Oh. And Fang will finish what Grim starts. He didn't let him get it. How dare you, Fang? Oh, he was out of bullets, too? That's 1,500 bucks, man. You know, that can, that can make a difference. Even do it for the money. But hey, that's got to feel good. Simple just tweeted out that he he had a call with the boys and he called a pistol strat for them. Okay. I'm going to assume it was a T-side pistol strat, so we'll see in the second half. But maybe we can name the strat simple, you know? We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, we'll see if it if it's... Uh, Damn, he's calling from abroad. He's calling from abroad, yeah. Simple it's, as... It's a phone a friend. Truly is omnipresent. Yeah. That was good, though. Vicious attack. No, they knew what they wanted. Yes. They got it. That flashbang as well just completely deletes any chance that Electronic really had. Still manages one, but it's just blind fire with the Berettas. Grim would have had more than a Mac 10 had he been allowed to second knife. But he'll let that go. And die inside that smoke. JT tries to take the place of the front runner. Both the Mac 10s down with nothing. The 5-7 of Electronic, two kills. 5-7 of SDY, one. Oof, and they have no one coming up late long, so look at Fang, right? He's stuck holding this and hoping that someone peeks him. Oh, what a tough spot. See me to the back. Oh, man, I mean, obviously going A is just... Uh... Gonna be pretty hard. Electron doesn't have to move. He's got a teammate beside him. Scout shot even connects. Fang, one kill up close. That's it. Navi just absolutely whomped him. Yes. They created the conca concave around, uh, like a setup around the back of Dice and Optimus and Long. And, you know, if there was no one Long, it's a whole lot easier. But with the amount of time left on the clock, of course, Complexity could have try to get control of that area, come in late, but they just had no odds when it came down to two players. Nice shots, though, being hit from Na'Vi. Hey, man, you, you highlighted it right before this one went right, live, right? The individual level of electronic, stark improvement from map one to map two, and he just shredded two heads inside that bomb site. Yeah. MP9 from Bit, nice second kill, finds Hauser on the fallback, goes back at it for Floppy. So three MP9 kills, nice and easy for Bit. This force buy nets them absolutely nothing. Not a single point of damage done. Grim, full-fledged 1v5. And no damage. Yeah, no damage done this round. With some attempts. Bit will be pivotal. He's going to try to take control of Khan. A lot of the rounds, he'll get tons of action. And uh, he also... I don't think he actually went positive on Mirage versus G2. But... I thought aim-wise, maybe we had some favorable spectating going on because I feel like whenever Prius is watching him, he was getting a nuts, mm. nuts Prius, frag. Yeah. Prius bias. And Prius likes bit. Prius and bit heart. Yeah. yeah. You can tell. Bit tucks into the connector. Fang said in after the, the win over Navi earlier today that, you know, a win versus Navi is still a win versus Navi. No asterisks, no matter what. And he's got a valid point. Uh, but then the fact that they get to replay the exact same map in the exact same day could definitely take some of the, you know, legitimacy out of that one.
Yeah. He Especially did, in the fashion, right? I we'll, think you we'll did see. misquote him a little. He didn't say no asterisk no matter what, right? I, that I did add. You did yeah, add I made it. that part of That's important to, yeah. But the gist of it was, of course, you know, it's still going to do most good. Uh, it's yeah. just nice to get a result out of the gate. No, yeah, he had a point there. I mean, it's still better than some of the teams that he's lost to, you know, in these past few months. It's not been a good run for complexity recently. So, yeah, it was worth being proud of. Absolutely. And as we've seen already from this last map with Head Trick, I mean, it's, he's been awesome. And I think the coolest part is that, like, he's just playing his style. And we've watched him play for seasons on um, Navi Jr. And he's playing a lot like he does there, which I, I didn't think, you know, I thought he would try to alter a little bit, change things up, maybe fall to the pressure, but he hasn't really. Between now Bit, Monacy, and Head Trick, right? I brought that point up earlier where Navi and G2, there's there's three players from the Academy League, but that's not just three players from the Academy League. That's three players from Navi Jr. specifically. Very good uh, scouting process going on. One of the organizations that says, you know, Blade actually has his eyes on both rosters. And I see why. He's feeding them right into the main lineup and proving their worths. Turns out Blade knows a good CS player when he sees one. But that's an excellent grenade bouncing off of the side of short. Poor JT down to 51 before he sees a thing. Flash behind the wood. Hey, not too shabby. Oh, shot missed here from Hedrick. Holding for the stairs peak. One comes out right below it. He's got some help behind him. Interesting, because they don't actually have to move in this position, and they might just think they're hunting down an opera, but they're not. Bit keeps it nice and clean versus Grim. There's wow. the connection from Hedrick, so his op finds... That was cool. I mean, third. you know, they had to understand that they still had a really good position, even though they didn't have cover behind them. Wow, what a peak. That trick is not holding wide at all. Just a pixel. And Dang now. Bobby doesn't give him anything. Didn't see the player back truck. Oh, but he turns it. And there's Perfecto peeking out from Banks. So we've got a floppy clutch in the cards. Perfecto already on the Banks dumpster. Oh, what? Floppy sees that one coming. Cuts it down to just him versus SDY. Didn't catch him on that cross. Little jiggles. Pixel peaks. He gets the duel he wants, but... Lesser health and some die young sticks the landing, denies Floppy his clutch. Down. A nice try. You know, this man has made, made a magic sometimes with his clutch rounds and overall did a lot of work here actually before the clutch even took place. So nearly the four frags. Pulls up Perfecto, top of the bin, but SDY deals with it. Oh, that was an interesting keyboard that Electronic has. It almost looked like a membrane keyboard. Yes, it looks like an like an old office keyboard, nice right? Flat. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, okay. oh, Damn man. windows. Round started. We can't ever. We can't comment on that anymore. It's gone. Off limits. So four straight from Navi off of losing pistol. You know there are still some top KZ players that still use memory keyboards. Wow. It's because KZ doesn't pay the bills. Yeah, they need a sponsor. Well, I thought maybe a foot would be spotted, but JT gets away with all four limbs. All ten toes. I like this call from JT. I mean, they're clearly going to set up for a full B exec in a second, but they're making sure to hold on to their default at the same time. So, the walkout starts to take place. It's moving at a pretty good tempo, but the flash comes up for Perfecto, and he nice. does a lot of damage. Very nice indeed. Electronic sliding by, finishing what Perfecto got started. A ton of damage from Perfecto. Good supporting flash from SDY off Graffiti. And that's what they've been doing now, back-to-back -back rounds, right? Last time, it's the double peak from Electronic and Perfecto into short. This time, they just do it deeper over on Monster. Both times, they call out where Complexity are, in fact, stacking. Bit. Nicely timed oh. flank, but he doesn't finish Fang. Grim hits the dirt. 10 health in the 1v2. And not fast enough to stop Navi from finding themselves on fire. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice timed uh, flank right there. Some good attempts. The walkout was interesting. I don't think there was flash support behind it from the T side. 
And the CT's clued into it. As soon as their smoke came up, they gave him a second. Let him get comfortable. And it looked like they were about to turn that corner, but... Navi were clued in. Five straight on fire. Back to pistols here for complexity. Ooh, timing there almost for Grim, but he runs right into the nade. That was an and one right there. Yeah, out. Alley oops himself. Will he hit the flick? The diagonal flick upwards when the head pops up. <laughs> nope, never someone, even sees it coming. Someone dies in the story. Bit trying to control that off. Fun. Good idea. Fang has played nuts today. He's been getting a lot of great kills. And even a couple moments in this half so far where it's like, oh, great flank on him. Good awareness. And then he turns around. He's ready. Twist, Nafly, Fang. That's all I'm going to say. Quick answer from Perfecto. They tried to press up close, but Perfecto cuts it down very easily. Follows through. Fang, nothing further after that one. So, Navi, get past the Desert Eagles and the Tech Nines. And despite Fang's best efforts from Long as the third best Canadian player. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Who else is on the short list? I mean, Hexed. He's up next. Got my eyes on you, Hexed. He's a one trick. He's only good at CS. Well, here we go. It's been a few minutes since Complexity have won a round. Let's see if they can turn that around. It's rounded out by. They get past the deep Molly quick. But Connector, dangerous game to play there, Grim. They, they've got bit, though. He's kind of activated now, and Head Trick is still holding this. He falls back, oh, but Bit doesn't need a babysitter. It's so clean. Now he does turn his attention away from Grim as Head Trick falls back a bit. So he gets left on his own. Not quite able to skate around that corner fast enough. Still, man advantage secured thanks to Bit and some very quick rifle work. Here's the off shot from Head Trick. Misses the mark. JT, oh, oh. with a double of his own. Channels his inner Bit. And JT, known for his entries, goes hard into this A site. Electronic, he's got a gap to work with. JT stranded at the moment. Floppy slowly creeping in from this long B flank. And he's going to time it properly, so it seems. A little bit of space here as Electronic extends outwards, and it's Grim to end it all. So, two kills to Grim, two kills to JT. Complexity find their second win. Yeah, I think that was actually three for Grim and, and uh, two for JT right there. Ooh, well right. done. Yeah, they look sharp. I mean, JT can shoot like that. I mean, they've got really no issues. Beautiful. Hedrick did, Hedrick did miss a little bit this round. It's noted. It will be noted. He's had enough success. <laughs> yeah. That's why they gave us rivers. A little bit of damage there. Fang doesn't get a damn. It's fast past the flames. Much heavier presence from Navi down on this B site. And it's not just going to sit back on the other end of these tunnels. Electronic already starting to pry into short. But because of that forward presence from Bit and with Head Trick inside a connector last round, looks like Complexity have been conditioned to take this one slow. They drop the smokes and they crawl their way towards bathrooms as Bit backs up. He heard you. Smoke's about to fade. So what do you mean? I back up. <laughs> yeah, I, I go where? Yeah. Cuts down JT. So he won't be able to add another multi kill to the tally. Not Ooh. this round. Can't find him. Potentially going to throw Fang up onto the flower pots again. They're kind of chilling, right? 50 second mark. No one to rescue from the bathrooms. Rifler safely back on site. Rotations are all fine. Very tough situation here for complexity. Floppy's in an interesting spot, but his team isn't close to him. 
This is that beautiful setup we saw in the last rounds. Ooh. Oh, but he's turning around. Great Bit trade comes potential, in. yeah. 34 health left over, though, and he's pinched. Stuck between the long peak and that last bathroom's player. Perfecto, he's inside sight. Bank player doesn't see him, and he controls oh. the spray. With so few bullets left, he gets that second kill to Fang, and that just sucks the life straight out of complexity because Floppy's trying another one of those cheeky B to A flanks. Mm. No time for him to recover this one. Perfecto lets Fang go by, stops bomb, ends it all for complexity. Yeah, hard for complexity to read. A third rifler would have been there at that moment. Normally, you have the double rifle set up in the bathrooms, maybe an off at bank watching long. They didn't see that. I'm not surprised they don't fully clear the truck in that situation, but this is Perfecto's golden ticket, and it, he will not let this slip, so really well done. The trade was possible, and then Floppy's flank actually could have been impactful, but not going to be the case today. Really nice moves from Bit, though, man. Yep. Uh, this has been a clinic from him. 14 and 5 already. Damn. Nine rounds deep. Picking up the slack in Simple's absence. Yeah. Some of the best riflers of all time play this position, you know, controlling Khan, pushing up towards stairs. It used to be electronic. Now it's bit. It used to be fur. It used to be rain. Hungry, hungry riflers. Nice turn back. Perfecto commits to the spray. Only finding the one. Fang. Third man in. Trades it out. SDY's back stuck inside graffiti. Electronic burned away into short, so that for a moment stopped Fang, but he just died with bomb inside the water. Bit keeps it quick. A second, perhaps. Oh. No, JT can't finish that one. And with SDY being able to tuck back into cover, suddenly JT feels surrounded, and he is. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Navi continue to rack up round wins. They've figured something out. These impeccable timings on the monster swings over and over again. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a complexity being incredibly obvious, but they are just checking it at the right time. They hear this flash, and they already have two here, which is the, the problem to begin with. You, you try not to come at a monster if you think they're, you know, in this two-player setup, but they exist just because he's playing well. More on that next round, though. Just, just going to try to pull out an eco here. Floppy tagged. Like they are game gliding back to war. I mean, he's going to set a record if they keep doing this. A comfortable lean back from Navi this time. Complexity going to be checking every corner. Bit doesn't tend to let them get this close. Head trick shaves one off, but Grim, nice answer back with the scout. Still, players starting to move up pretty quickly into the A site. They take some die young off of graffiti. They bring electronic up as well. Um, once upon a time, floppy spamming through monster, but that's been pretty quiet as well. So justified A stack. I'll give Long a little bit of love. Look at Pitch just yeah. standing out in the open. Come get some. Wow, not a care in the world. He knows he's better right now. He's going to go extend outwards, tries to hold on to the bomb control. Last bullet, finishes Grim, and sets up Electronic to close it. So three kills versus the pistols and scout yeah. for Bit. It's about to be a reference game here for Bit. Of course, I mean, not a sta most staunch competition, but it is a revenge match here. 176. Wow, 176. 11 rounds in. I'll take off my shoes to count that high. How many toes do you have? <laughs> I could use a couple. Yeah. Buys back. All right, complexity. What else you got in the tank? Not quite the glorious game that they started the day with, but Floppy, his chance to recover that, and it gets shut out by Electronic. Supports there. We got the wall banks coming through. 
floppy with just too much to handle and bit right back at it. Complexity, no, he's never too far. But he keeps it fresh, drops bomb again. Being set up nicely. SDY's got the flashbangs for days. B site, A site, doesn't matter. His assists are all over the place. And Fang finally puts an end to the beast. So he can die. But never for too long. All right. So they're, they're showing long a little bit of love here, which is, which is great. I think this has been underutilized for sure on these A hits. But down in numbers is just another problem. So we see the do off the back of this. They've been mollying the bag of dice. Fang come forward through the smoke. He does. Oh, but SDY gets to hear it all. Yeah, he got hit by that. I think he could have chilled in the smoke for a second. Grim, not going to get any closer. So Halzerk looking for the one versus four. Flashbangs pressuring him. 30 seconds to the clock, and he hits the first shot. Critical. Goes for that bank peak, but a quick tuck from SDY. Keeps him out of danger. Now he's just going to rush this one outwards. Halzerk hears the run up. No, no scope for you, good sir. SDY jumps up in Dover, gives Navi yet another. Yes, they'll take that one. Man, they, they got to feel pretty good right now. It's tough that this map isn't going well, of course, for complexity. They're about to clean house, right? They came so close to taking out Liquid, 14-11 on Vertigo at one point. Maybe even a little bit better than that. And now in the or the rematch on the same map uh, versus the same team. It's not looking quite as clean. Still a few rounds potentially left in this half. And for me, I think this is the map that feels the smallest these days versus the M4s for the T side. So I think you feel pretty good. Five rounds. First one's good. Just suffocating every time they try to get to this B site. They're met by aggression, peaks, consistent pressure. And yet again, it gives them man advantage. Grim pulls away from Monster with Hauser, moving that bomb around towards A. Yeah, they might have a tempo here. I mean, uh, Fang's about to turn the corner on long, and they just showed tons of presence towards B. They've got a lot of attention from the CT side, still waiting for Monster. And, and you can see that they need to retake Monster, so they re-smoke the back of it, and then they'll come and clear out the close angle. They need to get a full visual on this, so they're about to do that now. But in this moment is the time to attack for complexity if they're reading the map correctly. CT start to move in. Oh, bit spotted, maybe. Let's see it. Shadow advantage, bit gets Fang. Uh. Oh, but the nade finds him. Nice utility there from Halzerk. This time he's got an assist in Grim on this bomb site. But Halzerk gets flanked by Electronic. Cut out of it quickly. Grim, chance to line him up, but they're so ready for the peak, and it's just Navi who are way too sharp yeah. for complexity to handle this time around. Yeah, there's something special about being, you know, that being Bit's 20th kill. Even spotted right there, you know, they have him. They're lining up the perfect shot. And they still can't kill him because he's just so accurate at the moment. What's his HSP looking like, like I wonder? Grenade damage has been immense. Mm. Versus T's and CT's this round. Yeah, you want that one. I mean, that's... Uh... That peak and that chance came because they yeah, got long control, got all, all the way up to the corner. So that was kind of good, but just didn't get the kill itself. Another great flash. Wow, these supporting flashes for Bit have been extraordinary. SDY, baby. He's got the utility covered. That's now confirmed. A site, B site, and connector. Yeah. He can do it all. Yeah, the worst part is he plays in con and he gets out. <laughs> no one kills him even leaving. Just disappears. You got to find him again. Man. Vanishes like a wisp of smoke. Yeah. And now he's setting up for a play where he can flank around long if they if they leave this unchecked. And they haven't been going here a lot. The pressure on beat. Bobby trying to do his best. Feign a little presence, but 
catching Hauser like that outside bathrooms is big. Bomb now in the dirt as well. So JT backs up a second. Gonna let Floppy come and join him. Trying to clear Banana from this side of it. It's kind of floating here. I mean, he doesn't really need to be watching like this, but okay. Yeah, it's an open door for Floppy to take down a big scalp. Still, a two versus five in round 14. JT looking to get his feet onto the bomb site. Ever closer they get, and SDY and Electronic, despite Bit's inability to get one this round, it's still Navi easy. I think he just plays like that, because like, he feels like the round's already won. There's so many players on site anyways. Yeah, exactly. Do whatever the hell you want. He's just trying to be closer to the action if possible. But that's the kind of bravado he's earned today. Again, great work there. Some head trick. And the makings of a beautiful, pristine CT side to kick off Navi's revenge. It's definitely the kind of result that just wipes the smile off Complexity's face. And Electronic wipes one and a half off of the monster push. Grim's got a double kill. They still have to deal with Perfecto inside water. He's going to play inside this smoke with two kills. Maybe they let this slide. Oh, no. They're looking for him. They tag him. And sure enough, Floppy ends it. Head trick from inside the heaven smoke. But Bit's gone unchecked. He's already up on short. I let him disperse. Grim getting off that bomb site's pretty big, or else you'd have Floppy and Halzerk just corralled between what's left of the CTs. Just a third. That's all they're fighting for. A third T round win, if possible. Head trick. Nice quick scope into Halzerk. Drops down with time being limited. Tries to close this distance. And Grim, he's got the audio. All he needs. Point blank. The op just doesn't have time. Wow. No, sir. NT. Not enough. Beautiful shots from head trick to close out the half. But it is Grim with a little more to talk about. But for now, the only thing we can really look at is Bit and his 22 kills over the course of that first half. Electronic had his moments. Head Trick had some nice clean op shots too. But it was Bit who just dominated that upper forward A site. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, it was a beautiful game from him and full credit to his teammates for throwing a number of excellent flashes. He was everywhere all the time. SDY gets out from Monster, but he's very much on his own. And he's got four CTs busy at the moment. That's very annoying for them. Because again, you know, when someone makes these presents, you have to physically clear it. You can throw smokes and stuff, but it's not quite enough. So that ties you up for a bit. Mm -hmm. We see that now. They just went off the flash to peek down Monster. And meanwhile, it's a full A attack getting ready. Yeah, poor, poor Halzerk. He's got a lot coming at him. Fang and Grim will be the first two to scramble up, and Fang's already behind the truck, so a little more comfortable than Grim per se, but point blank, Bit connects with the Glock. SDY is still floating around down towards B. Floppy, fond of those B flanks, but this time he falls victim to one, and it's man advantage here for Navi with that compromised back line. So JT's completely out of this retake until he can deal with F SDY, if he can deal with it. In the meantime, his two other teammates start to push out. Grim, a one and done. And that flank's good for two. SDY really ends this. And with a pistol win on top of that first half, it looks like Navi are sprinting towards the finish line. It does feel like it, surely. Um, and at record pace. A nice shot there on Floppy from SDY. Jumping away. Hit that upward flick. And and not only did he feign presence out Monster, but he re-aggressed with the B side to make sure he was a part of this exact from a distance. Oh, yeah. I love that half-second pause as well. Made sure to aim. And he lands it. So Grim MP9, four Desert Eagles. It's about all complexity you're going to be able to offer us in this CT side. Forced to the very end. Ooh, and Grim goes down nice and easy. already a very good anti-eco shaping up with the long control coming in very fast no scout there on the a site to stop him from you know holding shift and w at the same time and they're gonna find it open perfecto can't be on uh con duty right now but sdy is right here to collect the eco frags 
Eat him up. Turns back and finds <laughs> Fang, honed in on him. Floppy grabs the MP9 from Connector. Had trick his chance to grab a couple, but that also gets shut down. So these pistols are doing enough to at least give themselves a slight chance of a retake, but no kit, only a smoke, and no information as to where Navi have gotten off to in these post plants. It's going to be a desperate run at this A site. And unfortunately for them, Perfecto connects it quick. 14 to Navi. And we're talking about a Navi that was mere rounds away from ending this group in fourth place. Now, they'll be staring at Liquid for a chance to come in first. That's the Navi I remember. Yeah, it is. You know, this last year, Navi, they've just been winning way too much. This is more classic. Still winning, but taking longer and making it look like they're about to lose. Taking their time, getting in the reps. But, unfortunate place for complexity. They'll come through with the deco. Save some money. Swing those hand cannons. It's the right stack at the very least. You got five players on this bomb site. Weird things can happen. Fang kicks it off. Electronic, that's four. And an anti-eco ace is stolen away by Bit. Electronic does the heavy lifting. Bit gets his 24th. Mere moments away from the end. Well, I guess the last fun thing that we can watch is now Electronic is in the running to overtake Bit in this game in terms of kills. Damn. But he would have to ace. Yeah, but look at that. Blade runs right to the to the bullet point. Bit's got the fresh information. Have to ace. Watch Bit and Electronic literally run. Who gets to fight first? Yes. <laughs> They're so pretending to be serious right now. This They're, is all about the kills. They're glued to each other, and they might both die to Fang if he can find timing on the flank. <laughs> yep, sure enough. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way to end it in Bit's favor. Assuming, assuming that the rest of Navi can recover. And so far, so good. They've got Hauser pinned into the corner. He's not alone there. Grim very much next to him. Perfecto, very dangerously close to these two CTs. Bomb gets moved along, down long. Oof. And there's not much left of Hauser. Oh. 15 health, but now they don't know about Grim. He catches him off, goes for the second in bathrooms, and Head Trick is going to keep this round alive. A 3v5 to end Complexity's chance at continuing a CT half? Maybe. It would need the 1v2 clutch, and it looks doable. Floppy, known to be on the flank, sure enough, wrapping around bathrooms and Hedrick plants on the appropriate side of dice box. He's got less health. Oh, and the smoke to make it look like he could go long. And now he can play it from CT, clear out CT, come either back to bank or go up the other side. Plants open for him. Flopsky, Floppy bites on it, walks around, and Hedrick, he may have done it. Hedrick piecing this one together. Playing with what feels like years of wisdom. Tucks it in perfectly. Floppy runs oh. out, gets double 